From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hey, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, the 8th of December. A deputy principal at a high school in Sydney's northwest has been charged after allegedly trying to groom a child for sex. Damien Wanstall from Kellyville High School is accused of engaging in sexually explicit conversations with a person he thought was a 14 year old girl, but was actually detectives from New South Wales Police. It's alleged he tried to arrange to meet and pay the girl for sex. Overseas now, and Donald Trump is reportedly considering holding a massive rally in Florida on the same day as Joe Biden's inauguration in January. Now, the president, who has refused to concede the election, is privately discussing a made-for-TV grand finale where he would leave the White House and fly on Air Force One to a rally. Sources have suggested Mr Trump would immediately announce at the rally that he is running for president again in 2024. The Trump campaign has so far declined to comment on the president's plans for January 20. To other news now, and the former head of Israel's space program has claimed space aliens have reached an agreement with the US government to keep their existence a secret. Okay, keep going. Okay, so Haim Eshed said aliens were currently conducting experiments on Earth in an interview with the Jewish Post, right. where he also said humanity was not ready for their arrival. Okay. Now, the 87-year-old is a pretty reliable source. He headed Israel's space security program for nearly 30 years. To entertainment now, and Nicole Kidman's American accent in The Undoing has been mocked by Saturday Night Live. And comedian Chloe Fyman played Kidman in a sketch where she was pretending to be the actress's character from the TV show. Have a listen. Your Honour, my husband Hugh Grant is innocent. There's no way he could have been that murderer. He's too hot and white. And I'm sorry, where is your accent supposed to be from? It's from the Upper East Side of Australia. Crikey, it's so- Oh, how dare they mock our Nicole? I mean, it's pretty accurate, to be fair. And if you <laughs> want to check out Kidman's accent for yourself, The Undoing is available to stream in Australia on Binge. And last story for the day, Sport Integrity Australia will appeal the Court of Arbitration for Sport's decision to cut two years of swimmer Shana Jack's doping ban. Now, Jack was initially suspended for four years after she tested positive for the banned substance Ligandrol in July 2019. The 22-year-old's ban was halved by the CAS last month, meaning she could return to competitive swimming next year. But Jack's return to the pool has been disrupted by the SIA, who lodged a statement of appeal on Monday. Now, the agency refused to comment on the grounds of their appeal, saying the proceedings were confidential. And do you want the chance to celebrate the end of the year with a bang? We're giving you the chance to win a share of $5,000. Just head over to news.com.au slash win to enter our Christmas cash giveaway. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update in the morning.